Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Reese and welcome back to another spiritual Love Jones general energy reading for my beautiful divine feminine. All right, y'all already know this will be general, so take what resonates. And if it does not, leave that shit where it's at. If you need a personal reading, information is down below in the description box. So let's go ahead and tap in and let's see what spirit got for y'all. <laughs> All right, spirit, what do you have for my beautiful divine feminine spirit? What do you have for my beautiful divine feminine spirit? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. I pretend to be okay, but I'm not. I have abandonment issues, and you deserve the best. Okay. I feel like whoever this person is, they could have ghosted you. This person, this is also picking up on the reading I just did. Like, at least this abandonment issues part is. Um, this is someone who's pretending like everything is all good, but it's not in this person's life. It could even appear to other people around this person like, oh, there's nothing wrong with this person. They're good. Like, every day I see them, they're doing just fine. They're not okay. Okay. Also, this person knows you deserve nothing but the best, not just when it comes to like material things, but like when it comes to the way someone treats you to the way, you know, um, you're being treated in a relationship. That's what I'm trying to say. You deserve the best treatment. You deserve princess treatment, queen treatment, whatever you want to call it. King treatment. Like you deserve that. Okay. You're not here to settle. But yeah, I feel like this person could have ghosted you or walked away from you. Probably didn't even give you no closure. And now they're acting like everything is all good in their life. But in my actuality, this person is definitely not okay. All right, spirit. What else for my beautiful divine feminine? What else? For my beautiful to my feminine spirit. No drama is here. Okay. And then we also got stress free right here. Look at you. This you to my feminine. You over here like, look, I don't have time for this drama. I'm trying to live a stress free, soft life. You deserve nothing but the best. You could have set boundaries with this person. But you're not trying to be fussing and fighting, basically is what I'm trying to say. You're not trying to be arguing with this person. You're not trying to be going back and forth. You're not trying to have nobody stressing you out, taking all your energy. You know you deserve nothing but the best. The best treatment. It's just that simple. You either treat me like the divine feminine that I am, or you can get gone. <laughs> the choice is yours. Everybody got free will. But your free will is choosing to live a soft carefree, stress-free life. You get what I'm saying? All right, spirit, what else? For my beautiful divine feminines. Cause I keep hearing that, um, who sang that song, Callie? <laughs> but um, she was saying, I ain't doing that back and forth. Do I look like a back and forth? I ain't got time for all that arguing when I'm trying to get rich. Okay, you trying to, you know, you trying to <laughs> come up on some things. <laughs> you don't need no distractions. You ain't got time to be going back and forth with nobody. All right, spirit, what else? Dang, it's just coming out. I know I need to apologize. It's here. This person knows that they need to apologize. They need to initiate some type of communication or whatever with you. Because like I said, for some of y'all, they just ghosted you. They didn't give you no closure or nothing. They didn't say anything. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm here to just be a man about it. Okay? By Tony Rex. And just be a man about it. But yeah. So this person's like, I know I need to apologize. But why they haven't did it? 4, 4, 4 on the clock. Pride and ego. It's simple to just apologize to somebody. But if you allow your pride and ego to get in the way... That's between you and God. That's a, that's a personal problem. 
okay we also got single parent here all right so for some of you guys you could be single parents for some of y'all y'all could have even had a baby with this person and they left you as a single parent And this is for someone specifically. If this person left you, like if you have a child with this person and they left you specifically as a single parent, they could have thought that, like you were going to settle just because y'all have a baby together. No, ma'am. You're not trying to be with all that baby mama drama, baby daddy drama. <laughs> You're trying to be stress-free for you and your child. Because for some of y'all, even when y'all was pregnant with this person, maybe this is very specific. Take what resonates. And if it does not, leave that shit where it's at 555 five, five on the clock. But I have to say this. This person could have even had you stressed out while you were pregnant. You get what I'm saying? Going through the pregnancy, y'all stressed. No. Mm-mm. All right, spirit. What else? Because now I'm hearing, how could I do the mother of my child like this? How could I say this to my the mother of my child? How could I do that? And for some of y'all, if this person has like a mother figure or some type of auntie or something like that, grandmama, this person ain't got in trouble by them. I just seen somebody get hit upside the head. I, I, I kid you not, like hit upside the head because they, they mama don't play that. They mama didn't raise them like that or whoever raised them. But yeah, that was very specific, girl. Ooh, I hope everything work out. All right, spirit. <laughs> what else? <laughs> what my beautiful divine feminines? What else for my beautiful divine feminine spirit? Unconditional love. This person had a lot of love for you. And I feel like you showed this person number unconditional love also. Over there acting like they all good, but they ain't. <laughs> all right, spirit. What else? For my beautiful divine feminines. You desire the world. Look at this. This is already out here twice. You deserve nothing but the best and you deserve the world. Okay? Not only do you deserve the best treatment, but you deserve anything in this world that you desire. Okay? And I'm hearing that song. I've been hearing this lately. Um, I don't know who sang it because it's, it's, it's new to me anyways. But it, it's a particular part where he was like, you got to do better for your son. You got to show him you the one. Can't let your daughter date no bomb. Come correct if he going to come. It's like you are trying to set an example for your child or your children on what you should accept and what you should not accept. Like if you have a son and he sees you getting treated badly by this particular person, like whether it's their dad or whether it's another man, and you're just accepting it. Yo, your son is going to grow up like, this is how I'm supposed to treat women. Like, no. That's not what's going on. This person knows you deserve the world. Like, you don't have time to be dealing with all this drama. You just don't. All right, spirit. What else? For my beautiful, one of my feminines. What else? And for some of you, like, even if you have a daughter or daughters, it's like, you like, I can't let my daughter see me getting treated like this. I just can't. You bring me peace. You bring me peace. And with this coming out here, this is letting me know and confirming what I've been saying. You ain't trying to be with all that fussing and fighting, arguing back and forth, long text messages, pouring your heart out, crying your eyes out, stressed out, eyes puffy, nose running. You ain't got time for that. Okay? This person knows you bring nothing but peace to the table, nothing but peace into their life. Okay? 
Or at least that's what you was on. Because some of y'all just didn't decide not to deal with this person at all. All right, Spirit, what else? For my beautiful divine feminine. It's like if they not coming at you with peace or in good vibrations, you don't want to hear it. Because that's all you've been giving this person. It's like I never did anything to you for you to start treating me like this. I see you as my wife. This is how they view you. Like I said, this person do got a lot of love for you. All right, spirit. What else? What else for my beautiful divine feminine? And I honestly feel like this person could have thought you were trying to be like confrontational or dramatic simply because you were expressing your emotions to this person like you were just trying to let this person know how you felt but they thought you were trying to argue with them 11 11 on the clock they thought you were trying to like you know cause a problem or whatever the case may be but no that's not what you were trying to do and like i said for some they could have just walked away ghosted you look at this Girl, <laughs> I'm trying to get this card. But look at this right here. Mom issues. What I just told y'all, somebody got hit upside the head. For some of y'all, okay, like I said, whoever this person is, they done got checked by a female figure in their life, whether it's auntie, mama, grandma, or whoever. Because they like, you don't treat no lady like that. You don't treat no woman like that. Bow. Get upside the head. But some of y'all, though, this stemmed when they were a kid. Like, for some of them, this head hitting that I'm getting upside the head was when they was a kid. For some of them, it's when they was, you know, like, as, as an adult, like right now. But the reason why I'm getting this as a kid, because... I have abandonment issues and mom issues. This person's mom could have treated them a certain type of way when they were smaller. You get what I'm saying? Like, they could have been abusive. They could have um, not been as loving or as nurturing as they would like for their mom to be. Like, their mom probably didn't tell them that they loved them growing up. Their mom probably, you know, wasn't there for them like they wanted to. Like, maybe they were playing sports or, you know, in activities and their mom just didn't support it. Their mom just wasn't there. They just didn't come. Like, they just didn't show them no love. So, this is affecting their relationships as a man. Or, like, because whoever this is, it is a man. Definitely a man. Okay. Wow. Also, a lot of things that happen in this person's relationship, for some reason, they're always is always pointing back to their mom. Whether it's reminding them of their mom or like, dang, my mama never did that for me. And also with this single parent out here, for some of them, they could have been raised by a single parent, whether it was their dad or whether it was their mom. So they already know the struggles of being a single parent. So that's why they know also, I need to apologize to you because someone specifically, this person left you as a single parent. All right, spirit. What else for my beautiful divine feminines? I should have never let you go. I told y'all. Somebody ghosted or they just left. No explanation, no nothing, no closure. Like, what's going on? Divine feminine over here, like, what did I do? I ain't been... I just been being me. Like, I'm not trying to come at you no type of way. I'm not trying to cause no drama or nothing like that. And this person knows that. That's why they see you as their wife. You bring me peace. It's got something to do with these abandonment and mom issues. 
Now this person is wishing they should have never let you go. All right, spirit. And actually, and, I, and like I said, you could love this person unconditionally as well. And this is what this person needs in their life. Okay? Why are they out here dealing with these mom issues? All right, spirit. Anything else for my beautiful and live feminines? Anything else for my beautiful and my feminine spirit? This person definitely feels bad. This all they thinking about. I'm just letting you know, girl. <laughs> Up all night, I told you. This all they thinking about. Up all night, this person not getting no sleep at all. They know they need to apologize or they know like they should never let you go. It's something that they should never, like they just could have just walked away, like left you hanging. But you know your worth. So it's kind of like you're not just sitting back, like dealing with it. But in all actuality, you have a lot of unconditional love and peace that I feel like you want it to give this person and this person wants it as well but they have these abandonment issues and mom issues i'm just letting y'all know what like it's exactly what i'm seeing and like i said for some of y'all it's been stemming since they were a child the way they've been getting treated by their mom is affecting their relationships with women Anyways, girl, <laughs> that's what I got for y'all. Y'all already know what to do if it resonated. Hit that thumbs up button so we can get out there to more beautiful divine feminine so we can keep healing, growing, and glowing. And I will see y'all in my next one. God bless. Mm -hmm.